the funding never comes fast enough. There's no question about that. Army Corps projects, whether it's here or any part of the country, and I've dealt with the Army Corps for a lot of years across our state, it's always a long process. We just have to figure out a way to have a short-term solution to an ensure public safety, and I know the mayor and his team are keenly focused on that, but then also to have a both an in intermediate plan and a longer term plan to finally solve this problem. This this isn't just a wall falling down, it, it can become a real hazard, it can enhance the chances that flooding will be worse and that utilities could be compromised and so many other adverse consequences that we won't want to try to avoid. There's no specific emergency funding, we're going to continue to scour and review every possible uh, avenue for this. Um, but I and I'm, I'll get a sense from the mayor what what his team is going to do in the right. in the days and weeks ahead. Yeah, I mean, um, but we've got a we've got a new uh, Congress coming in. We've yeah. got a new administration coming in. So we have to start from the very beginning to to continue to focus on those longer term solutions. We were in the process of trying to shore it up, but it came down before we got the contracts on it. Thank God it's snow now, not rain. But next week it's going to warm up again, and the snow is going to melt. And if it rains, you know, we're going to be in trouble. This is a temporary fix now. Hopefully it holds a little bit.